Hey guys, what's up? Nickel here from Dope Motions and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you again how to create a cool logo review with shape layers. But what's different in this tutorial is we are gonna use a transition which is into our built in into After Effects and use that transition to make a logo reveal. So before we get started, I'll just show you what we're gonna be creating today. Yep, so looks cool. So let's just get started. First of all, I'll create a new comp. I like to give it 1920 into 1080. And then I'll just select this rectangle right there and just hold shift on your keyboard and just draw a square right there. Yep, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a transition called linear wipe and just click on the shape layer. I just name it box so that you know I'll come to know what it is and then hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation properties and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rotation properties to 45 degrees and hit on the stopwatch to create a keyframe then I'll go to about 25 frames and make it zero and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit E to bring down the effect linear wipe effect and then I'll go to zero frames and you can see as we move this we're gonna start to get the effect right there I'll just put the 64 and right there and I'll go to 25 frames and make it yep 39 so we have this so now I don't like this angle so I'll use the same angle which I used in the preview I showed you so I keep it at 250 yep so now we have this Cool animation right there looks cool so I'll just select this and hit U to bring up the keyframes and I'll just easy ease it a little so now when I'll play we have a cool motion right there you can see simple but cool so now we have done with this thing and now I'm gonna right click go to new solid and create a BG that's a background yeah so yep we have this now I'm gonna add an effect called drop shadow I use this effect a lot because it's just simply cool and I'll just keep this to about 7 and fed the or softness to about 3 now you can keep it whatever you want but I like to keep it subtle yep I just sent it yep we have the thing right there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it two times you can duplicate it how much you want you know but I'll just keep it to about three yep and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna displace this layers right there so I'll just display it a little first I'll try with some little displacement and I'll just change the color so that you can see more properly I'll just keep it a uh, blue and I'll just keep this let's see I'll keep it a subtle orange so you can see right there we have this cool thing right there I'll just preview it looks so cool now you can create more layers you know by control D you can create five layers or ten layers or whatever you want yeah so halfway through so now what I'm gonna do is right about one second I'll just come or maybe let's see yep right about one second and select this pen tool and bring this guides and I'll just create a simple line right there and I'll just close the fill for this line and increase the stroke now I'll just change the color so that we can see it more properly yep and I'll just increase it let's keep it 4 and send its anchor point right there and I'll just move this to right about there yep now it's not straight I guess so I'll just make sure when you make it it's straight you know I just messed up a little so I'll just keep it minus 1 yep it's straight now 
and I'll just change the color. Let's see, I'll click, keep it a darker gray right there. Yep, looks cool. And now I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck this constraint property of the scale and I'm gonna scale it right there. You can see right there. Yep. So now you can see while scaling it, it becomes a little, you know, like slashy. But you can, I like to keep it that way, or you can just keep it the way you want. So I'll just go to about zero. Hit on the stopwatch, go uh, five frames forward in time, and just make it right there. So now we have this simple animation right there I'll just bring this back I'll just select this keyframe you can also hit you know F9 and do your things easy but I like to give it more you know precise now I'll just increase the si size of the stroke I'll keep it about 6 yep and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the three boxes and bring the anchor point right there. Now this type of scripts are very useful to bring this stuff because it saves a lot of all your time, you know. And hit on the scale properties. So I'll hit S to bring down the scale properties and uncheck the constraint properties right there. You know, and then you can see we oh sorry. You have to scale it right about there. So I'll just come to right about right here and just go a few frames forward. Maybe eight frames, yep. And hit on the stopwatch. Make sure your all three boxes selected. Go to right about 15 frames and I'll just bring down to this to about zero. So we have it. Yep. Yep, I'll just stretch it a little so that yep looks cool so now we have this so I'll just go right about here go right about there and hit P on by selecting this line and now we have to animate this line with the boxes so I'll just hit the stopwatch and go right about there maybe a few frames fall so that I can see where the line is going baby and I'll just keep frame it yep so now what we have is this cool thing right there now you can see my line is not properly in the position you can take your time you know adjust it a little more precisely I'm doing a little faster so that the tutorial won't be more lengthy. Yep, and yep. So I'll just preview it so that we can see what we have done till now. Yep, looks pretty cool. Simple but cool. So now the last thing remains. That's it. So I'll just go right about there. And now what I'm gonna do is instead of a logo I'm gonna bring up the text or something so I'll just type in a text I'll just type in dope I'll just change the color to black I'll just align it right there now I'll just increase this a little bit bigger yep And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position this dope. Just go right there. Yep, right there, and bring this dope down. See, right, maybe there, and I'll just cut it up by Alt Control close bracket. Hit P to bring down the position properties. Select the position properties. Go to about two seconds, and bring this up right there. So now you guys must be wondering like it's still not what we wanted. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the shape layer 
and create one more box right there and I'll just select a fill pretty quick doesn't matter what fill it is you can keep any color cause we are not gonna use it after all I'll just make it red so you can see and I'll just close the strokes we ain't want any strokes and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just line this box precisely to the line right there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the dope text track mat to alpha inverted so now what we have is you can see right there we get the text so now you can adjust this more precisely so that it looks like the text is coming out from the line now just bring it more up yep looks pretty good you can see right there yep now just select this keyframe and add a little bit of motion to it. Yep. So I guess we are done. So now you can take your time and make it more complicated or more advanced. Like you can add a drop shadow effect again to this text, you know, and make it look more cool. Simple as that, right there. You can see. So yep, I hope. If you learned something new guys today I'll just preview it for you guys pretty quick what we have created simple subtle and easy now you can do this box thing with a circle or a triangle or a polygon whatever you want yep so that's the end of the tutorial and thanks for watching guys <laughs>